Hi everyone, I hope you are fine and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about the pathogenesis of acute gouty arthritis. So first of all, here you can see that we have the hyperuricemia. It means that high levels of the uric acid inside the blood. And this would cause the precipitation of urate crystals in the joint. Alright, now these urate crystals are now phagocytosed by the macrophages. And these macrophages, when they are phagocytosing, so the cytosolic sensors which are present within the macrophages, they are going to be activated. All right, and these cytosolic sensors are known as the inflammasomes. So the activation of inflammasome is there, and now this would cause the release of the interleukin one, which is a major pro-inflammatory cytokine. Okay, now this would in turn increase the secretion of the chemokine cytokines from the various both from the variety of the cells okay now these chemokines and cytokines would stimulate the cartilage and the synovium to release the proteases and these proteases would cause the tissue injury and inflammation okay uh, these are some there are some variety of the pathways as well for example now here the macrophages is not only uh, increasing the interleukin 1 levels but it is also releasing the leukotriene b4 all right the prostaglandins are being released from it and the and it's also producing some free radicals and now these leukotrienes prostaglandins they are responsible for stimulating the neut uh, neutrophils all right so it will cause the chemotaxis of the neutrophils and as well as there is also the activation of the complements from the precipitation of the urate crystals and this complement activation would also cause the chemotaxis of the neutrophils all right now uh, once the neutrophils have reached the site of injury it means the, uh, the the site where the uric acids were deposited so this is going to phagocytose those crystals now when it would phagocytose those crystals, it would cause these crystals would cause the lysis of these neutrophils. So it means when the neutrophils are going to be lysed by these crystals, so they are going to release the crystals back to their to that side. Okay. And now by the lysis of the neutrophils, some lysosomal enzymes are going to be released. And these lysosomal enzymes are responsible for the tissue injury and inflammation. So that was the whole part. So we can say that there are three parts that are leading to the tissue injury and the inflammation all right so because of the macrophages because of the neutrophils and the macrophages is actually driving the two parts all right it is releasing interleukin one and that is uh, leading to this path all right it is also releasing the uh, leukotrienes which is directly causing the tissue injury and inflammation right the prostaglandin free radicals are also causing injury directly to the to the foot and it is uh, causing the gouty arthritis so i hope this is clear to you and i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching